need to ask Navita as Mr. Saran and what you see the pricing road map in the future is coming to the next quarter. How you see, how you forecast? Yeah, pricing road map. I can see the problem is that if you are depending on outside, then again each and every day the dollar prices are increasing. So we doesn't know what exactly the pricing that uh, it will be there for the next month or the next month. See, again we doesn't have any control on that. So whatever it is there, the same whatever the conversion that we are doing it for the model, so the same price that we are giving it to the end user side also. Yeah, and one more point I want to add here regarding the pricing. Uh, now, whatever is happening is whenever we go for any discussions with any clients, I will be asking what is the pricing coming in the next month, how you are forecasting. Uh, I to have some experience in the solar industry. One thing I can say here is uh, the pricing, whatever we are giving it today, will be valid only for short period. So when you see the last quarter coming by January, February, March, it's like a it's like a rush hour. So everyone want to complete the project and uh, the ball will turn towards the manufacturers. So they'll be loaded with the orders. And if at all you don't complete the project on time, uh, nearby you go by March, prices will shoot up like anything. So I request whoever uh, the EPs players or developers or small system integrators to look into the projects. If at all you have some pipelines, so better to look, uh, it's better to have that uh, forecast and try to discuss with the manufacturers, whoever it is. Uh, to 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 uh, to discuss with the pricing, to discuss with uh, with the quantities, and block the orders with the pricing with some advance payments. If at all you delay uh, in in some perception that prices may fall, prices may go down, so it is not going to happen. And you know by uh, as you go nearby, the supply demand issue will start. So we can't have any control in the pricing. So that is what I want to say to everyone. And as a Satvik. We have a uh, we have a, uh, a uh, we have a plant size of 1.5 gigawatt, and recently uh, we have launched like DCR modules 335, and we are selling this DCR 540 545 also. So if at all someone now in scalar market, last time we came for some creeper expose before that tour we went, everyone started asking where the DCR monofer coming in. So now few few companies are coming. So better to discuss if at all we have some pipelines. To discuss and get the modules on time, so that uh, you can get your projects completed on time. So that is from my side. So, so should you want to add something? Of course, <laughs> with the main market happening on the on the subsidy lines nowadays, what is moving? Whenever uh, manufacturers talking about, or you know, whenever we talk about panel pricing or the or the components pricing. It's a real risk um, because the pricing is all set. And secondly, uh, of course, Kerala is a very sensitive market. As uh, Raja said, uh, this uh, one method of you know overcoming this is to uh, uh, plan out things very properly uh, in terms of the uh, procurement. Because uh, when you're talking about EPC, I mean, uh, the middle lines of that one is very clear. It is talking about procurement, and it is it has it has a lot to uh, a b very big role to play in the total game. So the procurement planning in time can just help us to a certain extent. And there are matters which are beyond our control, as Sharvan rightly said. Okay, if the dollar rates are changing, you don't have any other way of and rather, you know, loading it back to the manufacturer or to the consumer. And in the private segment, definitely. I mean, you know, even if it is a three or two months time or so, uh, it is really tough, as one of the panelists said, like it's really tough to just explain it back to the consumer. But we have to stick to that particular point now. Might be this. The, there is a common standard which all the industry has to uh, follow. Here is you know when we are talking about the pricing lines, we have to be a bit more transparent, saying that this all happening. Uh, it is not for the lowest court. So that is you know uh, that is something. I mean you know when we are uh, when the when the industry is uh, happening in the same mode, industry is moving in the same mode or in the same direction. Where in terms of the pricing, definitely the fact is that the consumer will just get accustomed to that. That is a very, very real fact. Here the problem is the tax between the tax and the competition is affecting very badly, the very badly in the market because consumers are under real confusion saying that whether the prices are actually going up or this guy is, you know, talking about a story to just increase his margins. So I think, I mean, uh, there should be the procurement plans uh, a bit ahead of the line. Uh, can definitely just, you know, talk about uh, some kind of a betterment in in the in the pricings and you know in uh, in setting up the margins as well thank you
so thanks sir uh, yeah so so do you want to discuss some financing but you can add your review on that uh, actually the, there are some good news that uh, bajaj fin service trying to collaborate with uh, manufacturers module manufacturers to come up with a zero percentage emi scheme already some of uh, uh, our modules have already collaborated with them. so uh, uh, maybe in future it will help help in the help in bring up bringing up with uh, good financial models for the residential customers that is one thing second uh, um, regarding the uh, dcr uh, we have to agree that uh, the government is really pushing for a real cause because uh, to be a uh, stronger economy we should have to uh, go for uh, manufacturing in india uh, we have to uh, suffer for some period to be stronger in future that we have to agree but along with that the government has to come up with some framework to uh, to control the pricing because uh, previously it was compared uh, it was said that uh, to support the indian manufacturers they have introduced 40 percentage duty uh, but really uh, after that what happens is uh, till now the chinese products are selling for low price and the dcr prices have gone very high so in some uh, policy has to come from the government to control the price of dcr or uh, like i said earlier government should try to uh, support the manufacturer by linking uh, the subsidy with production maybe the with production capacity uh, in that way also they can control the price uh, i uh, the, the, these are my suggestion uh, for the present uh, concerns we are facing as cpcs thank you just to add a point like i mean uh, as uh, shafiq rightly said Uh, what we are talking about that you know bajaj finance which has come up is like it's called acumen financing the acumen financing is a very good model which has worked uh, in the heavy truck industry in the banking lines if you are seeing that and many of the manufacturers on the supply chain lines they're supporting with the acumen finance so that the governments are, the banks are not having the risk of uh, actually relying on the individual credibility of the epcs or the consumers and you know in the epcs also they'll have some problems because they actually belong to the msme cadre which is a riskier affair so uh, i think i mean that equipment finance model is definitely i mean you know other than bajaj finance if uh, a few of the bankers also can just you know come up with such kind of such kind of models uh, because there are we have you know bigger banks you know who can just support it in a very real good way that is going to change the game in india that's my opinion and uh, adding to that more uh, manufacturer should also try to associate with such financial models Yeah, that's, it. that's a very, 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 very real, real valid point. Like I mean, you know, where and you know, you Since guys. We have to... three manufacturers with us. Exactly, so. exactly, right, right. <laughs> uh, we'll take up to the management and we we'll look for for it. And uh, Shafiji, and I want to ask regarding this ultra low project bids and impact on EPS and OEMs that it provides. What is the review on that? So regarding uh, the pricing for the projects, uh, basically now we are talking about the ultra low bids. Ultra low bids means. there are uh, you know uh, the, if you look at the market in the last two financial years there has been an exponential rise in the industry the growth of the industry similarly there has been an exponential growth in the number of installers installer base uh, when i say uh, i am talking particularly about kerala uh, there has been several companies who have come recently new for to this industry so what there is an uh, there is an unhealthy thing just going in in the industry which is you know people are competing among each other only on the pricing you know several companies are just talking about only the pricing and not about the technology this is actually not uh, really healthy if you look at uh, the market at uh, the earlier session already he said we are predominantly uh, a residential market and also we have small commercial uh, segments which is predominantly in kerala and if you look at the residential segment most of the houses are actually uh, you know the people invest so much on the houses they have 2 uh, to 3 crores invested on the houses so they are looking for uh, you know uh, better solution better technologies you need not have to be the lowest to win the project you know this understanding should be there in the epcs mind or they should talk for the uh, technology not only on the uh, pricing part uh, see when we segmentize it you know even the saura subsidy program there was a subsidy program which most of the people complains that you know this has changed the pricing model altogether in the kerala market 
but uh, let's see like what percentage of the uh, epcs are doing the sabra project say 10 for percentage or 15 percentage maybe i don't know the exact number but 10 to 15 percentage may be doing the sabra subsidy programs but the rest of the epc players were focused and they were doing on you know uh, the premium or they were targeting on that kind of customers and i believe like i, I think uh, companies like illumine will accept that you know they had a really good business so that means there is a market segment, there is a segment for premium, there is a segment for technology and there is a segment for uh, the subsidy programs as well. So uh, the, the EPCs who are actually the face of the solar industry to the end customers should understand this point, you know, and they should target the segment. If they are targeting the subsidy programs, they, they should uh, target those customers who wanted subsidy. And there are a segment uh, where they wanted premium or a different uh, product, you know, such product, uh, such customers should be focused with that particular product so this will give uh, a space for all the manufacturers or different technologies otherwise you know a person who is having uh, looking for uh, you know subsidy program is he, he cannot be convinced with a uh, totally different or high price product yeah similarly uh, a person who is looking for technology that the maybe the subsidy will not work even if you go and give him a pricing it is only disturbing uh, him or if it is only giving him a thought that this product is only this price or per kilowatt this is the actual fact price and the other guys maybe have to convince him a lot. So uh, what I want to say to the, the new players in the industry is, you know, uh, focus on the strengths. Yeah, you, maybe your expertise in design, engineering, your, your, your uh, you know, financial, your technical strength and the product which you are offering rather than uh, going for a rat race. Thank you. Yeah, just to add on that particular point, uh, Sufir. Uh, I think uh, rightly said, uh, but uh, of course, I mean, nowadays, if you're looking at the clientele lines uh, on the pricing factor, uh, see, I, I, I believe that uh, consumers are very clear on the technologies because we are operating the subsidy segment as well and the Saura produce also we're operating. So uh, we are seeing number of consumers who are talking about uh, private projects. They wanted to have the higher technologies, higher brands, better lines, all these things that they and definitely we are uh, we can encash those kind of things there is no doubt on this one and the choice of this particular line definitely i feel any of the epc players who are just working on this market uh, definitely would uh, prefer to just uh, go for a i mean you know private uh, bit more better branded uh, you know better branded, uh, better branded combination for any kind of an installation so any kind of such opportunities will be encashed with the merit there is no doubt on this one and uh, the, the lower, uh, the, the ultra low bids, what we are seeing, another segment is actually uh, when we are talking about the institutional business. Okay, just for the sake of, sake of you know, closing up or bagging up the orders, uh, we are really just, you know, blading ourselves to just get the name of the trophies. That is actually spoiling the market more than anything because uh, here in the institutional segment as well, though we have to get those kind of businesses, uh, the negotiation power of the institutional market is comparatively higher. Uh, as we all agree, but uh, when we are talking about, you know, we are not standing with the same grid like a retail, uh, re uh, like a retail customer in front of the institutional people to just back the business saying that, you know, we have the quality differentiations and the pricing definitely is different for both different kind of products. So we should have a culture. In fact, I mean, you know, when we are talking about, see, as Sheffield rightly said, uh, being EPCs, EPCs are the face of this industry to the consumer, retail segment especially. So when we are just, you know, putting on that particular retail segment and the institutional segment, I see. So we need to be a bit more, you know, a bit more particular saying that, like, there are different products. Uh, I think, I mean, you know, uh, most of the EPCs would be handling up, you know, different uh, uh, level. I mean, premium products and economical products and all those things like. So we should be able to just, you know, push uh, and, you know, differentiate between uh, the, the premium products and the economical products to the consumer. We are seeing it everywhere. Many of you have just, you know, come down. Know, through flights, I mean, we are seeing all these things there in, in all the industries, it is there, but uh, might be uh, we as an EPC industry is very reluctant to say that we have a premium product and an economical product that is not going to just uh, create any kind of a problem for us, rather, it will be increasing our credibility on the particular thing. That's what my fear is. Right? And second is, you know, when you're talking about the ultra low bidding, I mean, you know, the new players, new entrants coming into picture, definitely they are adding a lot of access to the solar industry, but at the same time. When they're just, you know, just competing just for the sake of a rat race, definitely it is going to spoil the industry like more than anything. That is a very short thing. Thank you. 
Yeah, here uh, I like to add one more point. Uh, when Shafi said and uh, Sir was also stating regarding the price and rate base. So what I request all EPC players or the system integrators whenever they go for some discussions, let uh, them educate to the end client what product we are offering. So what service backup we have and what is the service support company from the manufacturer. So that they'll be understanding what we're offering. Some some X company may offer some low price, but whether they're giving on-time service after they get any issue from the site, whether they're coming for any service or backup support, no. So better whenever they discuss on pricing, whenever you come with a price, uh, 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 any competition from the end client or the computer, you educate the end client what you're offering with this price, what you're getting from uh, from the manufacturer. So so many companies have given the prices, rock bottom prices. But after that, are you getting the customer uh, uh, support, service support from the client? No. So better focus on that point. So let us educate the end client if you're offering this price, with this price, what you're getting. So that they'll be a little bit convinced to pay some higher premium price. That is what I want to add here. Uh, yeah, I want to add something. So um, uh, com when compared to other states, Kerala is a very different market. We have a premium market and also a subsidy market. Uh, uh, almost, uh, I think almost 1000 players are here in Kerala and only uh, uh, 33 players are into Saura project, 230, 230 players are into DBT scheme, MNRE subsidy scheme and a lot more other players are already uh, doing projects in the market. So there should be some kind of apex body in the market. Uh, some kind of organization should take up uh, the responsibility and should come up with some to monitor the quality and pricing in the market. They can also take up uh, the responsibility to create awareness in the market also to uh, how uh, among the customers to choose better products uh, or, or uh, the which product they want, uh, what, what kind of product they want they, that they can be uh, chosen by the customer. Some kind of apex body should come in the Kerala market because uh, I think uh, Kerala is different from other states. Uh, we have market for all kind of business here in Kerala. Uh, so uh, it should be well taken. Thank you. Before we end up, I want to add a few more points about my company, what we are offering with that I'll end the session. So as I said, I'm from Sarthik and uh, we have a plant size of 1.5 gigawatt and we are adding one more gigawatt by this uh, financial year. And so with that will be a 2.5 gigawatt and we have a diesel models coming up. And with this GCR, we'll be giving, uh, before we were all into Poly, now we are coming with Monopark. So I request if all anyone are looking for this kind of modules, DCR modules with Monopark, they can get in touch with us. Uh, we'll try to support with the uh, uh, surprising and everything. So if all anyone have any uh, uh, inquiries, you can pass on to me so that I'll try to assist and support with that. So thanks everyone. So thanks for the time. So thank you. Thank you, yeah. thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, all the panelists for joining us. Thank you so much, Mr. Rajkumar, sir, for moderating the great session. I request Mr. Uh, Shravan, sir, to uh, distribute the mementos to everyone.